Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi, affectionately referred to as Stark Vegas, where earplugs are highly recommended because the cowbells will be ringing. Today, a couple of SEC teams get ready to square off in what ought to be an old-fashioned slobber knocker. As we'll see, the Arkansas Razorbacks taking on the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Razorbacks will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it out. It's Mosley. So the Mississippi State Bulldogs offense will start this game off. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. Always knows where to go with the football. The entire playbook is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach, so much fun to play with him. A guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a weapon. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. They'll keep it on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense, and guys, let's also trust this home field advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent. He's got great speed. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. So the Arkansas Razorbacks offense will get the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Right back to the well. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them all balanced. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Razorbacks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Well, I'll tell you what, just watching this QB in the run game, he's going to break one at some point in this game. He's going to break a home run. Defense did a nice job getting him down there, but this guy, I'm telling you, he's just a play away from taking it to the house. Keep letting this guy do his thing. Back to pass, it's green. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. That last incomplete. 
incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. And this field goal attempt will be a 48-yarder and not straight on from the left side. Never a doubt. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. And the Bulldogs want to move quickly. They'll give it to him again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. On the ground it's Booth they bring him down and he's gonna lose a yard on that one and a great job by the linebacker you can tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage get up there in the line of scrimmage see it diagnose it get in the backfield get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss it'll take some work to get to the sticks it's third and long from the 30 looking to throw and he needs a chunk play and a big play on the outside. What a job to keep those feet in bounds and get the completion. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. The Bulldogs have their offense in high gear. He's going to pass. He looks that one in nicely. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I need to throw this ball hard. Like I got to fit it in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it. Because he really didn't have a choice. Because he was going to wear that one regardless. No huddle offense to the line. Running back goes in motion grabs behind the line. It's Booth. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but I like trying to get this guy the ball in space. He wants to throw it again. And the missed connection on third down. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And this field goal attempt will be a 48-yarder and not straight on from the left side. 
Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. Where is he set to kick it away? And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Now on first and ten from the 29. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making a tackle for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. Draws and screens are a great way to slow down really aggressive pass rushers. It allows the defensive ends and the defensive tackles to run up field. The offensive line to kind of push them up field, go down to the next level, try to sneak in a big play. Looking to throw, it's green. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. Fires the pass, intercepted. Looking for more room. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. And this, my friend, is what you call advantageous field position. Starting the drive with a first and goal. Headed outside for the line. It's Booth. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Yeah, what a great job by the defense. You got to understand, it's physical time, right? They want to run the football when they start getting inside the five. Nice job getting penetration, getting the tackle for the loss. And lost ground on first down. Now second and goal from the five. When you're handed a break with unbelievable field position like that, you better finish the deal, and they did. You saw the quarterback jog on the field. I think he gave a high five to every one of those players coming off that just put them in position to go score that touchdown. That QB knew this was a golden opportunity, and boy, he took advantage of it. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Looking for a crease. It's Jackson. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the option. Runs ahead and powers his way for four yards out to the 30. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. 
Scanning the field is Green. Makes the grab on the left. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Bulls his way forward. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. When running backs square their shoulders up, it's when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. He makes the connection. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw in the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better, sir. I don't know if I can quote the great Reese Davis. That was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to the ground with the running back. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it. It still didn't pick up much. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited. The fans aren't going crazy. But those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. The Hogs getting it done through the air, evoking memories of Ryan Mallett. And that's what the fans of Arkansas want to see. They've always got that physical ground game. They always want to have a little bit of balance. And when they get that balance, they get that offense cooking. They get everybody pretty excited. You might even get a woo, pig C. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Well, this defense has been outstanding in coverage early in this game. We're just in the first quarter. Of course, they already have an interception. They should have had their second right there. After the misconnection, it's second down. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Grabbed in the middle. It's Washington. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next one. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. As we head to the quarter break, Mississippi State has the lead. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. And the Razorbacks trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Zings it complete to the right. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rounding to the football? Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. The aerial assault continues. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas! And that's what I love about empty sets and formations on offense is that when you spread the defense out, you create bigger lanes to throw into. You saw it right there. All 
Lining up to add another. Blitz the uprights. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Mississippi State going up tempo. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time. But if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Takes the handoff. It's Boone. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. Back to throw. It's green. Grabs it in the middle. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. And still a little ground cover to pick up the first. That's a good job by the drag route there. Understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. And they got him for the sack. How frustrating for an offense to not only see the extra defensive back with the dime package, but still have their quarterback get hit. Yeah, when you go down, this is a passing situation. And if you're a defensive lineman, I'm pinning my ears back. I'm not playing the slightest bit of run. I don't care if they run the football. I'm getting to the quarterback. Nice job understanding that, rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground. The Razorbacks will try to pin them back with the punt. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Signals for the fair catch, and that's where they'll put it in play, just outside the 20. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. Give to the running back. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Mississippi State right back to the line. Quarterback on the keeper. Pass the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Here's the handoff. Nice move to keep running. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. 
First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. Mississippi State to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Going for it all. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing the go reps right down the field. I'm running by a guy, I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch, and he does it in a big moment here in this game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped off the drive with a big play through the air, scoring from 50 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Bringing it back. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The give to the back. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. And that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains. to set your defense for positive situations now. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback in the first direction. Now on first down from the 30. Handoff to the single running back. Makes a man miss. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. They're trying to get to it. He'll pull it down. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Second and short is a great situation to be in. And look at him. He drops back to pass the football. He doesn't have to throw the football. He wants to be aggressive, but he can just take off and scramble. Doesn't have to take a chance. Great being ahead of the sticks. And the Razorbacks are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Mm -hmm. 
this offense has a second down play. Wants to throw. It's green. He's got him this time. We knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved. To get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him in the This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. Gets open down the middle. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. That's a really nice looking throw. And I'll tell you, he fits in great with this offense because there's been this philosophical shift recently in the SEC offensively. It used to be you had to run the football. I formation, three yards in a cloud of dust if you wanted to win. But today, though, you have got to be able to throw if you're going to win. You think about all the great offensive play callers now in the SEC, all the Heisman Trophy winners that have played recently at the QB position. you got to do it through the air, and this guy in Arkansas gives them a chance. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle, it's Washington. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. I'll say this, man, in college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job for him, tackle. It's a draw. Thrust that arm out. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Yeah, that's a really good job by the defense, because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you've got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. He's got it, showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. Looking to go up top on first down. Snags it over the middle. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Here comes the offense on second down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Caught near the sticks, it's Hudson. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. He wants to throw. The short hands, it's Hudson. Tackled immediately after the catch. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. Four wide out set, two by two on second and five. He's looking to throw. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. All right, defense. 
it ain't working, right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. Mississippi State comes out after picking up the first down. Let's it fly deep downfield. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bulldogs! And this quarterback really does a great job of seeing the defense and seeing what kind of coverage they're in. And I think when this offense goes empty and they spread the defense out, it just makes it so much more simple for the QB to see what the defense is doing pre-snap and then post-snap. You can tell he's playing in a great rhythm right now because he's seeing the field and these empty sets are really helping him out. And the extra point is good. It's 24-13. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they closed it going up top for the final few inches in the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. I mean, he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. Dropping back, it's Green. Fires to the tight end. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Grabbed over the middle. It's the Tegna. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. you got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. The offense down to the 22 on first and 10. Pressure coming. Setting up the screen. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. I tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. He wants to throw here on second down. Catch in the middle. It's the Tegna. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Looking to throw. Going for six. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. On to attempt to try. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Booth. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. You know, that's one as a quarterback. When you see all those defenders around your intended target like that, just throw it in the ground or throw it away. I mean, that's a completion that loses yards. You're just hurting your offense there. He finds his man. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They'll try to get the first through the air. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. Well, they try to catch the defense napping. They're third and short on their own side of the 50, and everyone's thinking run. They go past, but the defense wasn't fooled, so the QBs just got to throw that one away. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. They'll look to pin them deep. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Starkville. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, Let's send it back to the fellas at Davis Wade Stadium. Mississippi State will put a foot to it to crank up the second half. Fielded in the end zone, it's the Tegna. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They had a really productive first half, but in a game like this, they better keep it up. You know, at, at halftime, the offense and defense separate, and they kind of go over their own adjustments. You know the offense will stand to themselves very quietly. Guys, we're not going to stop anybody. we got to keep scoring if we're going to win this game. So the pressure's on them here in the second half game. Yeah, and you get the ball first. And so it's been a high-scoring first half. You get to go out here now and make a statement. Start this half, say, listen, we're going to keep scoring points and then maybe help some, alleviate some of that pressure on your defense. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Well, you wonder if one of the adjustments they made at halftime trailing in this game was to try and get the ground game established, David. And they're off to a good start here. Dang right. Stay patient. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to press. Just try to get scoring drives together. Don't abandon the run. Might as well give it to him again. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. To the air. It's green. He's got it down the middle. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Our coach said to never go broke, take a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, never complain. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. The snap sets up the throw. A little screen to the running back. Makes the grab and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Well, that was a dart right there. He's going to give Arkansas a chance because 
in the old days in the SEC, you had to run the football if you were going to win championships. Today, you better be able to get it done through the air. When you think of all the great play callers in this league and all the Heisman Trophy winners this league has seen at the QP position in recent years, you better be able to do it throwing the ball. This guy, I think, gives Arkansas a chance with his own ball. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out in the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Fine play action. Coming after it. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. And how nice is it to have the whole crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping, the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affected the football game. A third and long coming up here. They want to throw it. Caught in the backfield. It's Armstrong. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. They think there's room to run to the right here. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend don't break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Back to throw, it's Green. Using the quick game. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. It's hard to have success on wide receiver screens when you're facing press man coverage because your blockers out front oftentimes can't pick them up and that receiver gets gobbled up as soon as he catches the pass. We saw it on that last play. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Sategna. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. From the red zone, it's Jackson. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. Here comes second down, and this crowd is turning it up a notch. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the run. They were able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. And on the slant route, I love the location of the throw by the quarterback. He's not making it difficult on his receiver. He's putting the football out in front, hitting his receiver right in the face mask and making it easy for him. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Wants to throw on third down. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range, they can take the three points on the board. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. No good. And guys still down by four, still needing a touchdown to take the lead. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Well, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Mississippi State going up tempo.
try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football, and you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. He'll do it himself. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. you really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Dogs send that offense back onto the field. The give to the tailback. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle, nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing game. Getting some heat. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. You don't get a lot of chances like that in games, guys. Take shots downfield, and when you get open, you got to finish the play. The wideout's going to wish he had that one back. Couldn't get anything done on first down. Now second and 10 from the 46. Back to throw. It's green. This time it's complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. It's a nice job running the end route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Catch in the middle. It's Sategna. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. On the run, it's Jackson. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive? Okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. He's looking for an open man on second down. Caught behind the line. It's Armstrong. Slicing and dicing through this defense, and they've got it down to the 23. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. The Razorbacks moving quickly to the line. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Throws to the wideout. And he was looking over the middle and couldn't make the connection. After the incompletion, it's second down. Looking to throw, it's green. Looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas! They take the lead with the six. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. Getting set for the point after. And 
and the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score, and they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. They're lining up to boot it away. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Use the play fake, now to throw. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. All right, well, the quarterback's showing you he is human after all. Finally throws an incompletion, and not just that, after a couple of completions back to back to back, almost throws a pick. Line getting set on second down. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. Feeling some heat. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. Wow, this offense is just stuck in the mud. They've already punted four times and it's third down now. From the gun, wants to pass. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls incomplete. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Makes a move. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on it. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. On the run, it's Jackson. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Looking for a man, it's Green. Quick strike complete. That'll get the job done and move the chains and they'll mark the ball at the 45. And how about that third down? They go five wide, they spread the defense out and at quarterback there, you're just trying to find your best one-on-one -on -one matchup. You're making a quick throw and you're picking up the first to keep the drive going. And the Razorbacks will snap it on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air makes his connection there to make the tackle but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down this proficiency in the passing game can take you back to yesteryear one of the great quarterbacks in arkansas history and joe ferguson yeah just slinging the pill just being able to being able to provide balance being able to attack down the field get people out of the box and and not be predictable that's a really good job by this quarterback they'll give it to the back Pulled down after a pickup of four to the 27. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. From the gun, running back gets to give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. On third down, going up top. Looking downfield. 
Caught over the middle. It's Jackson. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. And this defense has to step forward. Not only do they have to get a stop, they've got to do it quickly to keep that time from running down. They'll run it on first and goal. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. So on offense, you've got to find a way to put six up on the board. You know that in this game, field goals may not get it done. So big-time players make big plays in big games. Who can you rely on right now to get you a touchdown? Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's got it on the move. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throwing catch. Such a tough spot to be in on defense because you're trailing. You're expecting the offense to run the football. They just did it on the last play, and then on a critical third down, they go play action, and they throw it over your head. You've got to feel for this defense. You can't hear yourself think on third and touchdown, Razorbacks! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out-physicaled. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Mississippi State right back to the line. Wide receiver shows motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Nice job to get it past the sticks and they get it down at the 35. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Yeah, nice coverage, and you'd like to snag that interception, but there's always a reason why these thoroughbred athletes play defense. It's usually because of their lack of hands, like you just saw. On second and 10, a four wide out set trips right. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. Well, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting the ball out of his hands quickly on that RPO. He saw something he liked, just not on the same page with his receiver. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Pulls it in, it's Hudson. 
And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Well, the defense needs one more stop. They did a nice job not giving up a first down that last one. But with the lead late like this, one more stop, and they're going to win this game. Number Mississippi three. State will roll out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He'll call for the fair catch here. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Leaves it with the running back. Can't get him to the ground. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking downfield, it's green. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it in the previous play, so there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to run for it. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Armstrong. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Offense gets set for second down. Looking for space, it's Jackson. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Great job on first down. Great job on second down. This defense needs to come up big one more time. They gotta get the stop. Big time moment. I gotta get my offense the football back. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Oh, the sweet feet. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And how about the aggressiveness of this defense? I love this. Don't let him get to the sideline. Kept the ball in the middle of the field. Went after the quarterback right away like some missiles. And got him on the ground. Already two for two on third down, but this time they'll need nine to convert. Looking downfield, it's Green. He's got an open man. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. The Razorbacks will snap it on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Wilson. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. The pull and throw off the RPO. 
Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative, or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all over the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big one. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Arkansas! The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead. Now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Coleman. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. Here's the deal, you're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're gonna come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. From the shotgun, the inside give. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Mississippi State going up tempo. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's a great job by the defense, understanding exactly the situation, understanding to stay home, play sound. No matter who gets the football, we're going to run to the football hard. We're going to cage the football, be disciplined. Nice job by the defense. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. On fourth down, looking to pass. Swings it downfield. He's got it, they convert. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. He's going to pass. Finds his man. It's Booth. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Well, they're throwing this one to the running back out on the perimeter of the field. They didn't get it to him quick enough, though, so he literally had to tap dance there on the sidelines, make sure he was in bounds when he caught it, and just pick up a few yards. Got five wideouts spread across the field on second and five. Looking to throw it again. He's right on target. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and then all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. 
They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wide out. It's complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Well, when you're running the core route against zone coverage as a QB, you know you've got to get the receiver the ball quickly. This quarterback has a cannon for an arm. He showed you on that last throw, and the offense picks up the first down. And the Bulldogs will have it first and ten. He wants to throw. They're bringing heat. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Another hit on the quarterback. All day long, this defense has been able to pin their ears back and get after this guy. And because of that, he's never gotten into a rhythm throwing the football. And that's why they find themselves trailing here late in the fourth quarter. Looking to throw on second down. Quarterback feeling the pressure, and down he goes at the 22. You know, for this quarterback late in the game, you just need to have a better concept of the situation. Can't take sacks at this juncture. And I know that the play gets thrown off, the timing's off, and you're forced to roll out. But if nobody's open, either run the ball, get what you can, get out of bounds, or throw that thing away. Can't take negative plays at this point. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Pocket starts to collapse. And it's incomplete, a missed opportunity for the offense. Offense set on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense now. They got to get a stop. And if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. They'll keep it on the ground. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Well, it's not a home run, but it's just enough by the running back to move the chains. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Power football with the run. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. 